I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Oh, I kind of feel bad for Leo there. Uh, so meditation. Left click on the meditation icon in the dialogue to enter meditation mode. Choose how long to meditate by clicking on noon, dawn, midnight, or dusk icons, or by moving the meditate slider. Okay, but what does that actually do? Okay. <laughs> uh... Meditate till noon. Meditate till dusk. Midnight. Or dawn. It says new talents acquired. I don't know what that means either. Uh, it looks like we are around noon, I guess, because if we move this, that thing rotates uh, from there. So I guess I'll go till dusk. I don't know if it, there's if certain amount of hours do a certain thing or, or what the situation is there. But let's rock. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> so I'm well rested. I don't know uh, what that means. Somebody mentioned that if I hold the Alt key, it kind of shows me all of the different stuff that I can check out in the room. So all that's missing is that. a mage who'd know how to use this. They once laid me down here. Okay, so we got more swallow stuff, which is good because that uh, increases our vitality regen. I dig it. That's, look at that. That's pretty nutty. It's like a pterodactyl or weird half ram, half dragon flying thing. <laughs> Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally <laughs> awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. That's Let's awesome. get to work. Later, I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. I wonder why uh, Lambert and Triss don't get along. I don't know if it goes both ways or if it's just... He doesn't like her for some reason, but uh, I'm hoping we find out more about that. Left click on the scroll icon and press J to open the journal. Uh, press quest to see your next mission. Choose poster for Triss. And left click track quest. All right. So, we've got quests going on here. Uh, potion for Triss. 
and then trap. So there's us. Stairs to ground floor. Circle of elements. So I guess we just follow whatever this the glowing thing is. Mosses and grasses. The smell is heady. Gotta love heady smells. So we need I don't know if it actually shows us. Uh yeah, we need to find Lambert, and then he's gonna basically give us the list of ingredients that we need to make this potion. And hopefully bring her back, because I'm getting the vibe that she's like a pretty uh powerful Maybe not, maybe mage isn't the right term, but definitely has magic abilities that we can definitely use. Definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Okay, so I don't need to ask where it is again. He just told us. We need to go up, and then we need to go somewhere else. Uh, where can I get some alcohol? For what? Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in the crate and the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, white gull is alcohol. Okay, okay. Let's see what, what he says about Where's this. Where's the anyway. calcium equum again? In the evening hall inside a chest. I don't know what an evening hall an evening hall is, but I guess we'll find out. Uh and this is good because I wanted to go upstairs anyways. When we first went down to the laboratory, I was thinking there's some stairs there I have to remember to check out, so. Uh what is this? I have to tell you something. Lambert, I have oh, to tell you Leo. something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. This guy's, like, kind of cold, I think. I don't think. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> I'll find you later. Alright, prayer potions in meditation mode. Oh, okay. Gather the required ingredients first. Fair enough. Alright, well, we know we need to go upstairs. Let's do that. Perhaps both locations are upstairs, but... How do I get across here? Well, that doesn't make things very easy for me. I guess this is not the way. There's other stairs. So if I am to follow this, it's going to be around this corner. Here, okay. Witcher George slaying the dragon. Well, this doesn't really help. Oh, what the sh shite? I'm all over the place. Oh, so through the kitchen. All right, Care More is a little bit bigger than I'm used to. That's what she said. All right, here we go. Now we're in the right spot. You can always use more chicken. I don't know, like... I could use some advice on this because... There's... Looks like there's gonna be a ton of stuff. Flint again. Like, is it worth it just to pick everything up? Or am I gonna eventually be in a situation where I have too much crap and I'm going to have to ditch it all. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. We're throwing down. Die, bastard! That's right. You'll regret the day you were born. Sleep. No pay for that. All right. Man down. 
I have to remember, I also have the, uh, the Ard that I can use, which does the little blowback thing. Alright, we got a few dudes in here, actually. This is inter interesting. Oh! Oh, that is way better. I'll make you squeal. But if you can get this fury going, pull off one of these. Oh. That is so nutty. All right, we've got some goose fat and an unknown potion. How the hell does that work? Blade coatings? Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I'm just saying this right now, I'm definitely gonna need some help from you guys. Which I'm kind of excited about because I actually, oh, hello. Put him out of his misery. All right. Now, I wonder in a situation like that if it would have been better to go group style because there's multiples of them. Or does group style only work if it's like little guys? A couple orins, I'll take it. Bottled water. Wow. Even in these times, bottled water comes at a premium. All right, come over here, pal. What? Oh, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Turn off floating messages like too fast and final attack in the game options. Uh, I'm okay right now. It kind of motivates me a bit. All right, let's check out our situation here. So there's a the calcium equium at the end of the hall, and then uh, white gall in this armory section. And then we've got Triss's room there. So I'll have to make sure that I get all the stuff before we go see her. But I may as well grab everything I can at this point. What the hell? Oh. I gotta say, for a little bit of an older game, this looks pretty freaking cool. What I'm most excited for about this whole thing is uh, the choices, like the morality stuff. Okay, this must be, okay, this is Swallow. Here's the Calcium Equum. Contains the following substances, Vitriol and Rubido. And then we got more unknown potions and then a book that discusses Frighteners. What? So there's books too? Let me just see how that works. So if I go to... Where would I find this stuff? Oh, look at this. This actually shows you how many different chapters there are. And then you can sort that. It's really cool. Show secondary, show primary. Okay. Let's check my inventory, this book here. A collection of information on an unusually rare monster known as the Frightener. This book adds a bestiary entry to the journal. So how do I, like... Oh, okay, once I open it... Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of figuring things out as I go here, but... So this is the Frightener. This is that giant ant bastard. Uh, Frighteners are very rare. They come into being as a result of magical experiments. To create a Frightener, a mage has to possess great power and a basic knowledge of mutation. Uh, they are immune to almost all effects. Susceptibility, sensitive to steel and silver, very sensitive to loud sounds at high frequencies. Uh, it, this is actually super cool that it shows you all the stuff about these monsters. Uh, Frighteners rely on their size and strength. They try to knock their opponents down and then deal a lethal blow. 
Uh, alchemy, Frightener's Eye and Claw. I don't know what that means. Maybe if you can, like, kill one, then you can get that from him. First mage to create a Frightener was the infamous renegade Dagobert Sula, a diligent student at the Zurakian... Zurakian... <laughs> Zurakanian Masters of Alchemy and the supervisor of the Trial of the Grasses carried out at Kaer Morhen. Oh, interesting. Uh, upon beholding the abomination he had created, Sully is said to have cried, What have I done? He destroyed the monster. His notes, however, survived. And then obviously other people have picked up on that and created it. And then it, it puts some things into our ingredients tab as well, uh, just explaining what these things are. There's so much stuff. I don't know if it's... I don't know if this means we have this, or if this is just saying... This is just explaining what it is. But, that's cool. Let's move on. As I said, I'm gonna do separate episodes for, uh... Some of the lore stuff, maybe reading about all the characters and things like that. I think that's gonna be cool. Okay, what do we got here? Tamirian Iron Dagger, and we got two daggers. They're the exact same thing. And what is this thing that I'm rocking? A rusty sword. Oh, and this actually goes in, like, my... Oh, interesting. Inventory's full, so I guess I'll just leave that. I don't even know how to use this thing. Maybe we just use it automatically. Okay, here's the white gull. Unknown potion. And Monstrum or a Portrayal of Witchers. An anti-witcher pamphlet describes how ordinary people perceive witchers and recounts the story of Kaer Morhen's destruction. Oh, cool! Maybe that can be part of the first uh, lore section. So I'll grab that for now and then I'll I'll read it later. And then I can I can what's with all these weapons? In combination with different combat styles, so. This is interesting. There is a lot going on here. It's just kind of overwhelming a bit, but at the same time, uh, I'm kind of excited to see how it turns out. All right, so now I need to go back down and talk to that guy. He's gonna tell me basically how to make this thing. I am gonna check on uh, Triss here first, just to see how she's doing. I don't know if there's any way I can help her or if she's just like totally out of it. A lot of the food stuff just looks like it's like an instant restore for uh, vitality or endurance. Weapon upgrade increases damage inflicted by 20%. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Is this damage minus 30? Ineffective against most monsters. Used in Witcher combat style. So this is only good against humans, but it says damage minus 30%. Is that because it's rusty? I'm not sure. And I'm also not sure which weapon to upgrade with that grindstone thing, but... Ah, here we go. Okay, so this is now... This is the original spot where I was trying to get up to, but this thing was busted. So she must be up here, then. Medium strength alcohol. I'm not sure if that's stuff we use to mix, or perhaps... I just drink it straight up. Flint and buns. It's a sweet band name. Okay, so she's like, she's not up here. That I can see. Anyways, we gotta go talk to that dude first, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm just like, I'm picking up pretty much everything that I can at this point. Oh, Triss is over there by the fire. I got gotcha. you. Left click on a lit campfire to enter meditation mode. Oh, okay. 
So you can you can meditate by fires. But I'm not exactly sure. Oops. I don't think I actually need to do this right now. Okay. Let's see if Lambert can help me figure this out. What do you need? Got the ingredients and everything's Done. cleared out. I have the ingredients and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Okay. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Nice. Okay. So I can rest pretty much from a lot of these dialogue screens, it looks like. Uh, this might be helpful. Let's go through Lambert all Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gull and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need celandine. Take what I have. Nice. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Oh, right, because they would have taken him out earlier. So that's cool. I'll go do that first, and then uh, I'll come back and I'll talk to him about the Witchers. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? Whoa, okay, here we go. What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. Okay, that makes sense as to all the alcohol we were picking up. Then I was like, these people are just all drunks. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. So, I'm getting the vibe that in order to, like, in order to go full Witcher, you need to go through this mutation thing. Uh, he's saying this hasn't happened for quite a while before some big battle. Uh, which is, I think, the, that war that happened like five years ago or whatever, according to the intro. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? Yeah, because they're saying she's never been to the, to the lab. But she seems to know a bit about it. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. <laughs> An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. That's bizarre. Let's- I'm gonna catch up with him later about these other two things. We'll talk later. So I want to get this Triss uh, situation figured out. And it should be easy enough just going to skin that thing. The Frightener. 
get the, uh, I think it's the claw that we need to get from it. Which is the final ingredient for the potion. Oh yeah, look at this thing. To extract alchemo <laughs> alchemical components, left click on the monster carcass. Read books to gain information about monsters and alchemical ingredients. You must know about ingredients before you can collect them. Okay. So let's just see here. So this book isn't going to have anything about about the uh, the ingredients. If we would not have read this Frightener book, perhaps we wouldn't be able to get some of these ingredients. That's kind of the impression I'm getting. So here is the claw. And here is the eye. That's pretty cool. Alright, well at least it wasn't too far. We should be able to whip this thing up and see if we can help out our buddy Triss here because I'm getting the impression she actually did quite a bit for me when I was out of it the last little while. Yes? What if I... okay. I have, all, I the have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula. Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to a room. Okay. We'll speak later. So let me make this thing. Left click on the vial to create potions. Where is the vial? Right here. Select the formula to add ingredients to the vial automatically, then left click on mix. Left click the hourglass to brew the potion while meditating. Okay, so where... So these are all the different formulas. So if I click on this, we've got the ingredients that are necessary. So white gall is the base. And then each of these things have multiple little components. And I guess it extracts whichever component out of there that's necessary. This is pretty intense. I'm wondering if you can just experiment with stuff too, or if that's kind of a waste. I can see that being a bit of a waste. So let's do, we'll click on the potion. We click mix. And then you have to do, it looks like a minimum of an hour to make it happen. So let's do the meditation. There we go. All right, cool. Well, this is a lot. There's a lot going on here. Uh, I'm pretty intrigued. I see this is uh, something that's going to be very deep. There's alchemy. There's different swords. There's this guy gave me. Did he not give me a different sword now? Witcher Steel Sword, and he gave me some armor. It looks like Steel Sword used to fight humans, but it's not good against most monsters, so... Like, there's gonna be a lot of things we have to manage, and I'm pretty stoked about that, but uh, I'm hoping to do this in tandem with you guys, so I really appreciate all the help, and uh, all the advice and tips you guys can give me mean a lot, and will definitely help me tons. So, thank you guys again, I'll talk to you next time, and we'll find out more about the Witchers from... Uh, our good friend Vesemir. Thanks, bye.